When the siren started sounding in Yazoo City, Mississippi yesterday, Reed Timmer was there. It's definitely one of the biggest tornadoes I've ever seen. All right, we gotta get out of here. Timmer is a storm chaser, one of those souls, hardy or a little nutty, take your pick, who speed toured what everyone else is running away from. We're inside it right now, look at this. Gathering information on wind speeds and storm pads that could save lives. Well, you know, I think, uh, you know, most people, um, and when they ask why we storm chase, you know, there's really very little money in it. I'm not the kind of guy that's going to save up for retirement. You know, I haven't uh, dated much at all, or you know, I really have no life outside of storm chasing. They're right now trying not to kill us. While Hollywood's conferred some glamour on the intrepid scientists chasing tornadoes. Call it in. Call it in. Timmer, a Ph.D. candidate in meteorology, says it's data, not thrills, that he's seeking. I've devoted... 13 years of my life studying the science. I'd say I'm probably 90% scientist, and I mean, if I was just purely a thrill seeker, I'd just I'd be skydiving. In the old days, there was another motive: the money available for selling pictures like these. Oh my God! But Jeff Petrosky, who's been chasing storms for 30 years, says if it's money you're after now, guess again. You have to get into for the, the love of science and helping people, and. Uh, if you uh, make mania along the way, uh, uh, count your blessings because they're few and far between. Connor McCrory might want to listen up. When we reached out to this 18-year-old storm chaser after yesterday's tornado, this was his first question. Were you all talking to David Drummond, my agent? Yes, even storm chasers now have agents. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, New York.